In electrical and electronic circuits, resistors and resistances often appear in series or in parallel or in a combination of both. In this video, we'll tell you how you can work out what the total resistance is of a set of resistors in series and then a set which is in parallel, and then how to work out the value for a combination of both. First, let's look at the case of resistors in series. It's very easy to calculate the resistance of a number of resistors in series. The current is the same in all the resistances, and as a result the formula is simply the values of resistance added together. The formula is R total equals R1 plus R2 plus R3 and so forth. So if we have a set of three resistors in series with R1 equal to 100 ohms, R2 equal to 20 ohms and R3 equal to 30 ohms, the total becomes 100 plus 20 plus 30 and it's easy to work out the sum which is 150 ohms. If there are more or less resistors in series, then it's very easy to adapt the formula to suit. In the case where resistors appear in parallel, the current is shared between the resistors. As a result, the reciprocals of the resistance need to be added together to find the overall resistance. The formula is 1 upon R total equals 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2 plus 1 upon R3 and so forth. So if we have resistors of 100 ohms, 50 ohms and 20 ohms in parallel, we see that 1 upon the total resistance is equal to 1 upon each of the individual resistances, which works out to be 0.01 plus 0.02 plus 0.05, and this is 0.08. So with a little more arithmetic, we discover the overall resistance is 12.5 ohms. If we only have two resistors in parallel, the formula simplifies down very considerably and we see that the total resistance is equal to R1 times R2 divided by R1 plus R2. So if we have resistors of 100 ohms and 50 ohms in parallel, we substitute the values into the equation and discover that the overall resistance is 33 ohms. If we have a combination of resistors in series and parallel, then we need to split them down so we can calculate them individually. Here we have a network that has a single resistance in series and two in parallel. First we need to calculate the overall resistance of the two parallel resistors and then calculate the overall resistance of the two parallel resistors together and the single resistor. Let's take the example where we have values of 100 ohms for R1 and 50 for R2 and R3. If we find out the value of the parallel combination first, we need to use the formula for two resistors in parallel. We can then substitute the values in and calculate the top and bottom figures in the equation. This reveals that the overall value for this combination is 25 ohms. We can now use this figure to calculate the overall value of the 100 ohm resistor with that of the combined resistance of the parallel resistors. We have 100 ohms plus 25 ohms. Added together we see that the overall resistance is 125 ohms, so the overall resistance of this whole combination is 125 ohms. For more information check out the links in the description, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel.